Hey guys, this is Isaac from the Den of Bicycles, and here with me today, I've got the new Santa Cruz Bronson in Hightower, which me, Joseph, and Carter all got to ride down in St. George for a little bit, and here's our ride review. So these two are the Bronson CC with the transmission kit and the Hightower C with the GX Axis kit. These are very, very similar bikes with very similar geometry numbers. You might have seen our previous video explaining more in detail about the tech differences between the two, but all you really got to know is that they're almost the same bike with one distinct difference. The Bronson has a 27.5 rear wheel, meaning it's got a mullet setup or a mixed wheel setup, and then the Hightower does not. It is full 29er. Between the two bikes, you're going to get a couple of differences. Starting with the climb, they both do very well in the climbs, much better than uh, bikes of old. Like for both big travel bikes, they climb extremely well. But there are some differences, especially with the Bronson, I think is the one I'd want to point out the most. The mullet wheel bikes in the past have been notorious for being extremely inefficient peddlers, having tons of pedal bob, and while being very fun on the descents, not super capable climbers. The Bronson doesn't quite follow along with this rhetoric, and it's probably one of the best climbing mullet bikes I've ever ridden. But that being said, it does not climb as well as the high tower. I think in especially technical climbing, you're noticing that smaller rear wheel when you're trying to get up and over rock ledges or anything like that, the rear wheel was catching because it didn't have the same rollover or with it being a little bit lower to the ground because of the smaller rear wheel, you were striking your pedals a lot more. So you kind of had to be watchful of your pedals. If you weren't, you would be smacking, especially if you run longer cranks, if you're a little bit taller. So those things you could definitely notice, but in terms of other mobile bikes I've ridden, it was still extremely capable. In terms of like a flatter flow climb where it's not as technical, the differences between the two became less pronounced as the uh, pedal, as you, the technical climbing wasn't hindered by the lower bottom bracket or by the smaller rear wheel. But you still could definitely notice that the high tower was more manageable over longer climbs and it felt like you could carry your momentum a little bit more. Both good pedaling bikes, especially for having as much travel as they do, being 150 and 145 in the rear, but they was definitely knows whether the Bronson, you may not want to choose if you're gonna go out these on these insane, maybe longer high country rides. If, you, if you're worried about pedal efficiency, the Bronson may not be the exact bike for you. Now to hear about the part that everybody wants to know about, the descent. When you buy a bike this big, you are definitely worried about how the bike handles in the descent, considering that you are buying a bike with this much travel. They handle differently, but both extremely capable. The high tower tends to be a lot more blasty, I guess is the way you could put it, as in you wanna go in a straight line and it just rolls over everything you throw at it. Those bigger wheels really help with bigger, uh, with bigger rockier lines that you can roll over a little bit better and things like that. And it loves going fast in a straight line, which is really, really what I found with this bike when we were doing anything steeper too a little bit. You could find that if you point it in a straight line, it goes where you want it to go. The Bronson on the other hand was a little bit more lenient where you could kind of choose where you want to go. It wasn't as blasty as the high tower was, but let's say you're on a very technical descent and the high tower wanted to shoot you straight, but you maybe want to take a little bit of a smaller line to your left or something along those lines. It is easier to transfer lines on the Bronson because that smaller rear wheel gives you a little bit more capability. The other thing I found on these two that were made them very different was mainly the corners. The corners is really where the Bronson shines in terms of being different from the high tower. You get into a corner, you push into it hard, the Bronson just spits you out the other side super fast. That smaller rear wheel lets you really hug into the corner and really, really rip through them as fast as you want. While the high tower on being on full 29ers, you have to be a little bit more mindful of where your center of gravity is and it doesn't corner quite as well. I think the high tower is still one of the best corners uh, full suspension 29ers you get your hands on and it's a great bike but the bronze it does definitely edge out the competition in that circumspect it is fantastic at cornering when it comes to maybe some smoother downhill trails that are a little bit more flow oriented not as technical the especially if things aren't as steep the high tower tends to hold its speed a little bit better on that full 29er platform it holds its momentum so let's say you're on something a little bit smoother as previously mentioned you're definitely able to hold your speed a little bit more on the high tower. you might have to push some more effort into the bronson to keep up with those same speeds though on the other hand in a flowy trail flow trails usually tend to have more things like uh rollers that you can pump over or manual over and manualing on the bronson was quite a bit easier than the high tower because you can just get over that rear wheel a little bit easier. It's easier to pick up the front wheel. 
And then same thing with jumps. If you have any jumps on uh, your trail, considering whether it's flow tech, whatever, you have some jumps on your trail line, it is definitely easier to jump the Bronson and throw it around comparatively to the high towers, what I noticed. Thank you for watching with us today. We do have both of these bikes here in our Salt Lake City store and also in our Park City store. If you have any questions about them, also feel free to visit us at our website, contenderbicycles.com, or give us a call. Thank you so much.